Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus and this is another little tutorial of Angels Mods. This time I'm going to add a few additions to one of the later versions. Instead of redoing all of the old ones, I will just dive into some of the parts that have changed. The refining mod has been uh, extended with a washing machine. That's a silly word, a washing plant, but it's a washing machine now. Um, and this is also connected to the new smelting mod. So. That's uh, that's the context I'm going to put it in here. So this will also introduce the smelting. So we're going to look at what the washing machine here can do for us and also going to look at the new sodium chain added to petroleum. So the first thing we have is a new pump, a seaflow pump. This pumps up mud water. Yeah, mud water. If you mix it with water, for some reason it becomes clear. And then we get some, what's it called? It's called concentrated mud water. And you also get a nodule. A nodule is just a thing, a thing, whatever that means. But it it takes the concentrated mud water, puts it in here, and that gives us some limestone and some sand. The limestone is going to be used for uh, some of the more advanced smelting processes. The sand does not have any use right now. Oh yes, it. Oh, it's not actually sand, is it? Is it sand? And that goes in here. The mod, it's actually mod, and the mod is, well, goes into this box. I just put it on the same belt because it's not too much. So I have limestone, I have mud, and I have nodules. The nodules are building filtered out. We can continue with that. The limestone stays here, but the mud is going to be converted. It has really no purpose except being converted into landfill. So that's what happens here, mud to landfill. Great way of creating a landfill out of nothing. Now the nodule, I don't get a lot of nodules, it's only one in 10 here, so it's this process, what is it, it's speed, every 5 seconds I get one nodule, so not a lot. I put it into this, I crush the nodules and put them in here, so I have tons of nodules, let's start the process. So then this one will just start shoving in the nodules as fast as it can, and that's where, oh I need to go walk by on the other side so we can see what's happening. This machine, again, a washing machine, is making some nodule slurry. All right, so you say, what's that good for? Well, nothing really. Um, it's just good for putting it into the next process. Add water and some nodule, crushed nodules, and you get module slurry. Then you go add more water, and then you get concentrated nodule slurry. So far, it has no purpose. And then we can go on to one more process. In this case, we will be adding some mineral sludge to our... Uh, yeah, so our concentrated nodule slurry, and then we get some pebbles coming out of it. All right, so the pebbles are going to get thrown in here. Please note that this one, all of these up here, are creating, taking five input and generating five output in five seconds, even. However, this process, oh, sorry, this process is taking five in, five seconds, but only generating two. And this one is then using four. So you actually need twice the process up here in order to support one of these nodule sludge processes. So this nodule sludge process is the last of the washing washing chain and that creates some nodule sludge. So a long chain in order to get the nodule sludge. The nodule sludge is currently the only way to obtain, you put it in, this is a splitter, part of Angel's Mods as well, very convenient. It splits evenly between two sources. There's also a three-way splitter. Anyway, it goes in here. You add a mineral catalyst and out com comes manganese. You add crystal catalyst and out comes chrome. Not a lot. You can see how little it is. Five in, two out. And again, this is also based on, this one is based on this one. Four in, five out. Okay. So again, that's how we generate like a very small amount of manganese ore and chrome ore. There will, as I'm told, be other options in the future uh, for generating it in a different way uh, from the sorting process. But so far, this is the way to create manganese and chrome, and that can come in handy later. So that's the washing machines and how they fit in. Currently, the only purpose is creating manganese and chrome, but there will be other additions added later. Now, the other process I want to dive into is an addition to the petrochemical process. And this is uh, up here. We are going to get a lot more focused on the salt part because this is one of the parts that will, is really needed a lot at the end game because of the 
monochloramine needed for uh, the rocket fuel. So it is actually a bit of an issue, and that's why the, a new process has been added, and that's this process that's creating sodium from the salt. So this takes salt comes in and it gets split into sodium and chlorine. Chlorine gas. Chlorine gas is pretty damn awesome because chlorine gas is something that is a uh, it's it's needed for a lot of things. So it's for gold, for example. You need chlorine gas for gold. That's great. Well, let's flip out the oh sorry, the next one here. This one is taking the sodium in and producing sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is something that some people are saying, ah, I have tons and tons of sodium hydroxide and nothing to use it for. As I see it, the way I'm usually experiencing it, I do not have enough sodium hydroxide because aluminium requires sodium hydroxide and aluminium is something you need quite a lot of. Anyway, this, is, this process is working. We'll start the next one. And the next one is a different compound so that's sodium carbonate the sodium carbonate let's actually have a look at uh, the sodium carbonate is going is a process is used as part of the smelting process so we're going to need this later on but so far let's just craft it as eagerly and as efficient as we can why is that not this really should have been a short one and there would be a point to doing it this way good and the last process Let's uh, get that process out as well. And let's see. Here we make sodium cyanide. This is a rather complex one because it requires sodium coming in, much carbon, requires a green catalyst and ammonia. So very advanced. And this is also used as part of the smelting mod. So that's something we're going to come back to later. Oh, what a mess in here. But that sodium cyanide will be handy during the smelting process. And in this case, I'm just putting the, everything on the same belt. It doesn't get full with four, so I can just put the metal catalyst as well as everything else on one belt. Not a big deal. So what you can see here is actually the sodium chain has been expanded quite a lot, and that makes a lot of things easier. It's a prerequisite for part of the smelting process, but it's also very convenient that from salt, you can just get tons and tons of sodium hydroxide, for example, if and chlorine the fewer if you're short on that because this is a, a good old money for nothing all of this process it's very little outside in addition miss here we have a bit of uh, carbon dioxide going into this process not really a big deal uh, here is some purified water again not a big deal um, and down here this is a bit more cumbersome but that's also because it's part of a more advanced smelting process all right we're going to wrap it up here and the next we'll also make uh, more dedicated for the smelting processes so thank you for joining, and I'll see you in another video. Cheers, bye.